Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we're going to be doing part 7 of season 6 for the Big Bang Theory. I am really excited for this. We are about to be done with season 6 and move on to season 7, which means we're going to be done with the show sooner than I would like. But I don't care. <laughs> I want to do this. So, I'm not going to waste any time going through what we've already watched and everything like that because you guys have been joining me this entire time. So, if you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to The Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue The Big Bang Theory. What you doing? He said clean up. I'm cleaning up. <laughs> what if someone looks in there? They're just coming over for dinner. No one's gonna look in the closet. You don't know that. What if someone's looking for the bathroom when they open that door? Good workout. For all we know, there's a toilet in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we should do. We should show the closet to Sheldon. Why? <laughs> Are you kidding? He's like a savant at organizing. Did you know everything in his apartment has a label on it? Including his label maker, which has a label that says label maker. <laughs> <laughs> Just show him the closet and let the goblins in his head take it from there. I could see that. Hey guys, come on in. Hi. Hey. Sheldon, I know tonight's the night you ate Thai food, so I went to the Asian market, got all the ingredients, and made it from scratch. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, it's my pleasure. No, you really shouldn't have. <laughs> I brought my own. <laughs> now, don't you feel silly. Show him the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would come in handy. These spring rolls are amazing. Good job, Bernadette. That's the takeout that Sheldon brought. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure they wouldn't have tasted nearly as good if I hadn't tried your food first. Wow. Howard. Color's fine. They're wrong. They'll be arranged seasonally. Then why'd you ask? You know what? Why am I even... Oh, it's okay. I'm used to it. The other day at Whole Foods, he spent an hour optimizing the cheese aisle. His quirks just make you love him more. Do they, though? Someone please agree with me. <laughs> Sheldon, come on. It's getting late. Time to go. Oh, five more minutes. That's what you said five minutes ago. Amy and Penny are already in the car. Let's move it. You know, if he really wants to stay and finish, I can give him a ride home. Oh, please, Leonard. He said it's okay. <laughs> Sheldon, it's... Wait, I can go home without you? Bye. <laughs> found three bowling pins. Now, do you juggle these or are you missing seven? <laughs> juggle. <laughs> you health nuts kill me. You found the juggling pins I hid. Now, just a couple more items. Howard, I found this letter from your dad in a box. Now, oh. based on the content, it could either oh, be filed. You open this? Now, as I was saying, based on the no, content. I couldn't be less interested. Now, come on, I'll take you home. Oh. Did you want to know what's in the letter? If I wanted to know, I would have opened it years ago. <laughs> it's been years? Do whatever you want. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I've never oh. seen somebody so excited to clean a, a closet. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I first met Howard, he would pull his scrotum out of his shorts and say, Oh, I sat in gum. Ew. <laughs> what is your point? Well, it's just kind of weird how grown up he is now. Happily married guy, throwing dinner parties. Really? Do it. You couldn't just say that? I'm with Penny on this one. I didn't need to know that. That was not a picture I needed to see. It was a nice change of pace, not eating takeout around a coffee table. <laughs> oh, God. Howard, buddy. Are you okay? Yeah. I just didn't sleep. I told you you shouldn't have espresso after dinner. I know the That's little cups make you feel big, but it's not worth it. Curious. Yeah, of course I'm curious. I haven't seen the man since oh, I was a little kid. And a letter shows up on my 18th birthday? Maybe he apologizes or explains why he left. He abandoned me and my mother. Why does he deserve a chance to explain anything? He's got a point. That. <sighs> In the sink, though? Feel better? I do. Not anymore. Great. <laughs> I can't believe he set it on fire. Yeah, just seeing that letter really freaked him out. He was already.
already having a tough day because he accidentally wore my pants to work. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, I'm really curious what's in that letter. Me too, but I guess now we'll never know. Well, you said Sheldon read it. Why not ask him? I can't do that. What kind of wife would I be if I didn't respect my husband's privacy? What if I asked Sheldon you just happen to be in the room? That works. Okay. <laughs> I officially want to hire Sheldon to just organize my entire apartment. This is why I have an apartment with laundry unit in it. <laughs> Cleaning out the entire building's belly button. Hey, Sheldon. We heard you read the letter from Howard's father. I did. What did it say? Yeah. I can't tell you that. I'm bound by closet organizer, organizee confidentiality. <laughs> Sheldon, that's not a real thing. Well, neither well is it the is. Rule that you have to hold your girlfriend's hand at the movie, pawing at me like you're a bear and I'm a trash can full of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon's analogies make this show Why the best. Do you care? Just tell us what it says. <laughs> that doesn't give me the right to disseminate it freely. Come on, look, the letter was found in Bernadette's closet. Doesn't that count for something? Are you pointing out that California is a community property state? Property contained in that letter is jointly owned by the two spouses? Yes. <laughs> Just say yes. Yeah, obviously. You made the right choice coming to me for help with this party. Actually, all I did was invite you. <laughs> well, put your mind at ease. I'm here to make sure your dinner party kicks Howard's dinner party's ass. Now, turn of the century Moulin Rouge. <laughs> What? I'm thinking you need a testosterone patch. Oh my God. Penny and I just want to do something low key, you know, cocktails, light jazz music, hors d'oeuvres. Oh, Leonard. You know, if I was prone to sarcasm, I'd say I was pulling off a major heist at the Museum of Laundry Baskets. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, seven. <laughs> yeah, well, I was waylaid by Penny, Bernadette, and Amy. They made me reveal confidential information about Howard's father. What information? I can't tell you that. Well, come on, we won't tell anyone. Sorry, badgering me won't work. What you should have said is, it's pointless to keep this a secret because Penny will tell us. Fine then that. All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that yeah, Sheldon goodness, knows that that's what would happen. Today. This is really fun. Oh, God, you know, they're going to reveal it at the cocktail party. And the hors d'oeuvres are delightful. As is the company. <laughs> My shirt is itchy and I wish I were dead. <laughs> Ridiculous that we still have to walk up all these flights of stairs. Yeah, well, I am. <laughs> oh. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Hey! <laughs> I made him tell us. Shame on all of you. <laughs> you know, too. Couldn't leave him in one friend, could you? So everybody knows what's in that letter except for me? Yes, it's six against one. Stand down, sir. <laughs> if you want, we could tell you. No, I don't want to know. I mean... I get I it. Do, but I, I gotta go. It's too painful. I get it. Uh. Use me as a human shield? <laughs> I should have left it alone. It's okay. Sorry I ran off like that. What are you looking at? Uh, pictures of my dad and me when I was a kid. That's nice. He did a hell of a job organizing this closet. <laughs> <laughs> he really did, Otto's though. Was <laughs> Wallowitz family before father left forever? Oh my God. Well, at least he was accurate. Yeah, Nine-year-old Howie with cornrows. I am in no mood to have sex tonight. That's a first. I mean, I'll lay there if you absolutely have to have it. Oh. Oh, that is not what I thought it was. What guy's doing here? It occurred to me that knowing and not knowing can be achieved by creating a macroscopic example of quantum superposition. The, the principle that a physical system exists partially in all its possible states at once. You will forever be in a state of epistemic ambivalence. Yeah, and I said if it wasn't epistemic, we might as well not do it. <laughs> It was a card for your 18th birthday. Inside it said, Happy birthday, Howard. I love you, Dad. 
Oh, and it was a far side cod, the one where the frog has its tongue stuck to the underside of an airplane. Shall we? <clears throat> it was a map leading to the lost treasure of famous pirate One-Eyed Willie. That's not it right there. That's definitely not it. Nice try. That's the plot for Goonies. You didn't know it, but your father was in the auditorium at your high school graduation, and he cried because he was so proud of you. That, I... Yeah, or that's complete poppycock, which Amy made up, because it still could be the map. I believe that. No, I believe that one. Eventually, his other life caught up to him, and the only way to keep you and your mom safe was to leave. I would like to change mine. <laughs> the pirate's name sure, was seriously? Pegleg Antoine. Your dad wrote about how family is the most important thing, and that you should never throw it away like he did. Hmm. Wouldn't that? On the back, he wrote, Howard, my son, my greatest gift. Terrific. So I feel like all of them, except for I feel like all of them except for Sheldon. Do you think it is? I Maybe. think it's all of them, <laughs> except for Sheldon, obviously. Well, one of them is. That's pretty cool. Thank you, guys. Hey, it's still early. Why don't we go back and have that party? Okay. Okay. <gasps> Uh, the letter from your father wasn't the most interesting thing I read in the closet. Yeah, Bernadette's diary has some saucy passages. Sheldon, <laughs> don't you dare! We you know, did nothing to worry about. Your secret's safe with me. No, it's not. <laughs> Howard's gonna ask about it. law would allow me to quote snippets in the context of a review. Glad you're feeling better. Me too. If I'd known we were gonna be dancing, it would've worked. All right, um... Oh, God, that wrecked me a little bit. Um, so I'm not going to go too much into detail about this because I don't like dragging people publicly online. Um, but I do sympathize with Howard. Uh, there is a certain family member that I do not speak to anymore for reasons I don't want to go into. Um... And I think it's important for me to share a little bit of my personal life with you all on some levels. I know it was very well received when I talked about my PTSD during the one gunshot scene with Leonard and Penny. But I made a choice to stop communication with the person I'm talking about. If they were ever to see this, then they know who they are. And I'm pretty sure they watch my channel. Because they follow me on Instagram. <laughs> um, but I sympathize with Howard a little bit more than I thought I would in the entirety of the show. And like I get the not wanting to know. I've received countless cards from the individual I'm talking about and never once opened them. And the reason why it got to me is because... Um, I've been in this kind of scenario where my friends and some family members told me what was in it. And so I, I relate personally. Um, so I just need a second here to break because that was a lot and I don't want to break down right now. Um, nobody warned me <laughs> that this show was going to have so much emotion eventually. I thought it was just going to be funny. But... <laughs> you know, it's those life experiences that make me who I am as a person today. And that's what I love about Howard's character because everything he's gone through in his life with his mom, with his dad has made him who he is. And I don't think he would want to change who he is just like I wouldn't want to change who I am. So, <laughs> you know, I tried really hard not to say who the individual is that I'm talking about, but Based on some hints, maybe you guys can guess it. But please don't guess it in the comments. You know, just let it be. Let it flow. Because like I said, I don't like to publicly put people's names out there or shame anybody or anything like that. So that's where we are. <laughs> All right, let's keep going with this. Hey, now, Penny, uh, I have a couple of questions about your closet. Is there any reason you're keeping this dead goldfish? 
Damn, I forgot to feed him. Oh my and God. I had him. Because I found what appears to be a battery operated chew toy. Party's over, party's over. Oh no. <laughs> Yo. She found, he didn't find a chew toy, but he found one of her toys. That's great. Immortality is not only a possibility, it is real. Only if you're this jellyfish, which periodically reverts to a mass of undifferentiated protoplasm. If I could keep my Gmail account, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> well, fellas, dead at his desk for two weeks. Oh my God. Uh, in Wu of Flowers, the department chair is asking that everyone donate a bottle of Febweez. <laughs> I mean, if just get rid of the body. Jellyfish, I'd be okay with brine, shrimp, or the history of the unicycle. That a tenured position has just opened up. I choose to do the WADA. Excuse me, the whole tenure system is ridiculous. A guaranteed job for life only encourages the faculty to become complacent. If we really want science to advance, people should have chips implanted in their skulls that explode when they say something stupid. Wow. People do their best work when they feel safe and secure. <laughs> if you need my nose, you'll find it firmly wadged up the wectum of the tenure committee. Oh my god. You PhDs gonna go suck up like Kripke? And if I can't get tenure, I'd like to see you or Sheldon get it. Get Raj, don't dangle false hope in front of Leonard like that. Oh my god. Excuse me, but I think I'm just as qualified as you are. <laughs> <laughs> You can't get fired even if you're bad at it? Not really. Wow. Sounds a lot like being a pretty waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> While I disagree with the premise of tenure, if they gave it to me, it wouldn't diminish my output. Are Rajesh and Leonard competing for it as well? Mm-hmm. Do they know they don't stand a chance because you're so great? <laughs> well put. I must say, I go back and forth on this boyfriend-girlfriend thing, but... It would be nice to have the increased income. Stop taking money from my parents. Money from family does come with strings attached. <laughs> you have no idea. They buy me a new BMW for my birthday, but can I get seat warmers? No. <laughs> Pay for it yourself. Well, maybe I will, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough wine for now. <laughs> I might need to sleep with a gun under my pillow. Oh my God. Or a chainsaw. No. <laughs> or you take advantage of your newfound economic stability and move out, buy a house, get married. No, father, you may not have a ride. Oh my God. I'm gonna make some coffee. <laughs> so who do you have to schmooze to get this deal? I'm not gonna schmooze anybody. I'm gonna let my work speak for itself. That's great. That shows a lot of integrity. Thank you. you know, if you really want tenure, maybe you should cozy up to the people making the decision. Sheldon Cooper does not do cozy. Yeah, she... Don't say. <laughs> I was gonna say, she knows. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to know who's on the committee. Davis. Oh, dear. Is that a problem? Well... Oh, no. Yeah, you even do? you. Oh! You're a slave. <laughs> I'm a what? <laughs> Not sure, it could go either way. Start getting ready for swimsuit season. <laughs> That's not something you should say to you, HR. Not that you need it, I bet you look great in a swimsuit. Wow. I've got what my father used to call furniture disease. My chest is falling into my drawers. <laughs> Boy, you are not paying attention to the fact that she is HR. Yeah, and then you actually have to move. One might be broken. You have to move. Yeah. Come on, Leonard. You have a good body. You can't tell me you've never worked out. <laughs> yeah, now I'm feeling it. Oh, this is great. He's going to be feeling heartburn in a I minute. I do this for the rest of my life. Hey, speaking, speaking of things you do for the rest of your life, I've got to get a home gym. <laughs> well, I'm sure you have a lot of good applicants. I just want to say hi. Oh my hey. god. All right, I'll keep an eye out for that. Hey, Hofstetter. Funny seeing you here for the first time in 
Ever? <laughs> oh, look at that. Burned the whole calorie. Oh, my God. I guess you got here early to burn off that banana bread I baked you. Yeah, it was delicious. Thank you. No, my pleasure. Well, if you, if you like banana bread, I've got a, a great recipe. The trick is in fresh ground. Gonna stretch out before <laughs> I hit the weights. Oh, my God. Dude, this is sad. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, Mrs. Davis. This is Dr. Rajesh Kutrapali from the Astrophysics Department. Don't be alarmed. I'm not really in space. <laughs> Why did he post this on YouTube? <laughs> Anywho, born in New Delhi, the third oh, son my of God. an itinerant gynecologist, I showed early signs of genius. At the age of five, I discovered <laughs> a celestial object which later turned out to be the moon. Come in. Dr. Cooper, how can I help you? Yes, hello, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> I understand you may have a bad impression of me, so I bought you a gift. Uh, Dr. Cooper, that's not necessary. It's too late. Get ready to like me. Roots. <laughs> the tragic history of slavery in America. Fun for the whole family. Why? Sheldon! It's the fact that he doesn't know it's wrong. <laughs> like... You are black, right? <laughs> oh my god! This meeting has come to an end. Sheldon! Because you want to start watching it right now, copy that. Get out, just get out, just run. Where have you been? Nurse's office. Asthma attack? Asthma, heart, some kind of attack, I'm fine though. <laughs> uh, you guys going to Professor Tupperman's memorial? Probably um, not. Barely knew him. We will all be there. <laughs> We. Oh, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Meerkats. <laughs> uh. You better have a good excuse this time, because trimming Q-tips to fit your ears right is obvious nonsense. I don't believe anybody should use like Q-tips. Okay, they just jam wax in your ear. Second, the reason I'm canceling is because I have to attend a memorial service for Professor Tupperman. But I have no choice. The tenure committee is going to be there. Oh. Well, in that case, perhaps I should come along. Well, now that I think about it, that would be most helpful. Of course it would. I'm well-versed in academic politics, and as a respected scientist, I can only raise your stock as a candidate. Do anything interesting today? Uh, not really. I was out shopping with Amy. She wanted me to help her find something for this memorial thing. What, is Sheldon's going to be there? We all promised we weren't going to go. Hmm, what a jerk. I know. Well, since Amy's going, do you want me there? You know, to support you? Oh, that's nice, but it, it's just gonna be a room full of boring old men. I'm not sure how much help you'd be. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what she's doing. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, no thanks. That would be great help. Come on, Daddy. All the other scientists have seed warmers. Oh, my God. This is so humiliating. I've got to get tenure. Okay, let's meet halfway. How about I cut my cleaning lady down to twice a week? Who hires a cleaning lady for twice a week? Let's I clean my place once a week. One last time. Okay. Professor Tupperman is dead, and that makes us... Sad. Glad. <laughs> Giving Mrs. Davis the box set of roots was... Bad. <laughs> Yeah, however, no. yeah, fine, bad. You have some nerve showing up here just to schmooze with the tenure committee. You're here. Excuse me, I'm here to pay my respects to Professor Tupperware, or whatever his name is. <laughs> Tupperman. So am I. His <laughs> passing makes me feel bad. That's close enough. Well, well, well. You said you weren't coming here either. I have a thick accent. You don't know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know why Penny's here. I'm here to support my man, just like you. Oh, well, there you go. Raj, <laughs> knock it off. What, did she do it yet? <laughs> yeah, Sheldon doesn't she get phased by that. Members of the tenure committee to further Leonard's cause. No, well, that's a fine how do you do. Don't just stand there. Take your breasts out. Wow. Sheldon is the most qualified for the job, and no amount of gravity-defying bosoms gonna change that. 
Seriously, is that tape? Like, how are they staying up like that? <laughs> Way to hit him with both barrels. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever Amy plans on doing. Wow. <laughs> are you implying that my girlfriend has no sexuality to exploit? Yes. Okay, because that was not clear. Sheldon! <laughs> Thought maybe he'd defend her. It was ambiguous. But well, now it's ambiguous. What are you gonna do about it? Um, you can talk some smack about his mother. But, but yes, of course. He wouldn't like that at all. <laughs> Last night I was feeling in need of sexual release. When wow. I to come across your mother. No, you do what you want, but I don't want to lose my friends over tenure. Friends are forever. <clears throat> so is tenure. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home and let my work speak for itself. You're right. This is beneath me. You'll always be an academic success, but I seriously question whether you'll make any more friends. <laughs> True. She's got a point there. Well, I don't want any more, but let's go. Something about me just makes him laugh and laugh. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Kripke's gonna end up getting it. We cannot lose to that jerk. Yeah, screw it. I'm going in. At least screw it, I'm going in is what I said to your mother last night. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't really say that. That visual image is so bad. <laughs> quite just ridiculous and off-putting. Wow. <laughs> Mrs. Davis? Seriously? Mrs. Davis? Mrs. Davis? I just found out that you recommended myself, Dr. Hofstadter, and Dr. Kuther Polly to be on the short list for tenure. Well, despite your quirks, the three of you are very accomplished in your respective fields. I don't know what you mean by quirks, but um, <laughs> I understand that was inappropriate. Good. Anyway, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yo! I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> You're right on, sister. Absolutely not. Help me out here, I can't afford another demerit. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, maybe we were hacked. You know, the Chinese have been hacking everything lately. Why would the Chinese make our DVR record Paul Blart Mall Cop? <laughs> that movie is oh, great. <laughs> maybe the Chinese haven't finished watching it yet. <laughs> You know, if you're trying to make space on the DVR, why don't you just get rid of some of the stuff you've already watched? Like, uh, Alphas. No, that's the season two finale. That was quite the cliffhanger. There is no season three. They canceled that show. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sheldon looks like he well, got destroyed. It. it ended on a cliffhanger. Yeah, so did the show Revolution, and they canceled that too. Dumplings left. Do you want them? Dumplings? Don't you understand what's going on here? That show ended with all the residents of New York either dead or unconscious. Oh, now I'll never know what happened. Well, why don't you make up your own ending? Yeah, oh, sure. Well, a wonderful idea. It could be. And after that, I'll make up my own rules of oral hygiene. You know, they have to help the viewers let go. Yeah, Firefly did a movie to wrap things up. Buffy the Vampire Slayer continued on as a comic book. Heroes gradually lowered the quality season by season until we were grateful it ended. <laughs> they didn't want to be yelled at by crazy nerds. They shouldn't have started a sci-fi channel. He's got a point. <laughs> the most precious part about me doing these recordings is when I get to turn around and I see my dog sound asleep, and it's the cutest thing you'd ever witness. Whatever. I can see my little princess when I'm at work, right? Why can't you just watch porn like a regular guy? <laughs> Give me your laptop so I can configure the software. Uh, hold on. I was Googling that girl I've been dating, and I found her blog. Cool. Anything juicy? Uh -oh. She said she recently went on a date with a guy named Roger? <laughs> and he's Indian? That's you. And he's an astrophysicist too? People change names on blogs to protect their privacy. Roger is Raj. <laughs> oh. I always thought if I had a white name, it would be Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> I could Reading, see it actually. It no, no, I, I don't know if I should. Uh, this is creepy. Oh, I think we were looking at creepy in the rear view mirror when I put up that camera. <laughs> It's not creepy. Don't listen to him. Ooh, Ew. Oh, crazy. God. I don't even let my dog lick my lips. That's nasty. 
Can I go? <laughs> <laughs> With all the TV Sheldon was talking about, I had the greatest idea ever. It even blows away my idea for a Star Wars themed coffee shop called Brubacas. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Did they patent we need that? To because watch if Buffy not, the Vampire Slayer. It is the perfect show for the two of us. It's got action and jokes and hot vampires and romance. I cannot oversell this. What do you say? It's six thirty in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you grew up on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tell true. Farmers wake up pretty early. My yeah, family was farmers. This is your vice president of programming. <laughs> you know, we have made a horrible mistake regarding alphas. You know, we need to uncancel it immediately. And yeah, I don't want to answer a lot of questions about if I really am who I say I am. You know? <laughs> I, just, I want this done. <laughs> you, no, I am not the person who just called. Why do they keep hanging up on me? I'm sorry you're upset. You know, Sheldon... Sometimes people seek the comfort of physical contact in moments like this. Amy, just stop talking about it. Just stop bringing it up. It's not going to get anywhere. What I think is going on here is you have a pathological need for closure. Oh, that's nonsense. I mean, you tell me stories about your day all the time. I don't care how they end. You know, I might be able to help you with this. There's a whole field of behavioral neuroscience that examines ways to retrain your neural pathways <laughs> she beat him. <laughs> she beat him. That proves nothing. <laughs> Ready to go to lunch? Do you think I'm feminine? Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What's going on? He's reading the blog. I broke down and I read Lucy's blog. And in one of the entries, she said, when we first met, I struck her as a little feminine. Jeez, why do you girls always want to talk about things? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, if she's writing about your relationship, use it to your advantage. Rig the game. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Take what's in that blog and use it to get her pants off. Oh my God. Everything's so filthy. Why couldn't you just say the blog is like her giving me the key to her heart? The key to her heart. <laughs> That's nice. Quoting a man who knows a thing or two about women. Sir Elton John. He's gay. <laughs> He's like the gay icon. Like, what are you talking about? I've never watched Buffy. So did you love it? Of course you loved it. How could you not love it? Tell me how much you loved it. It was cute. <laughs> so you want me to stop calling your little tushy cute? Oh, God. You can try, but nobody's going to believe you. <laughs> I just, I don't understand how you could watch a show that great and not be excited by it. I liked it. I'm excited. Well, then tell your face. What do you want from me? You know what? This is literally my boyfriend. I'm not going to lie. This is my boyfriend when watching shows. I'm sorry I called it cute. Instead of vampires, we had meth heads. That's almost the same thing. came out at night and had messed up teeth. Yep. There you go. All right, cool. I think you'll like the next one better. All the cheerleaders are suffering from an evil curse. Oh, well, that's like my high school, too. What? I take issue with the word compulsive. All I'm saying is we live in a world where closure isn't always an op. What are you doing? Why is that? Oh, I see what she's doing. So what would be your plan for addressing it? I'm going to recondition your brain so that the need for completion isn't so overwhelming. Oh, God. By playing tic-tac-toe. Yep, your turn. Oh, Amy. None of which will deny me closure. Especially since I'm about to win. Oh. <laughs> well, we didn't finish. Exactly. How does that make you feel? The same way any normal person would. Not like I want to peel off my own face and tear it in two and then again and again till I have a handful of Sheldon face confetti. <laughs> See, well, you don't know what it's like to feel completely frustrated and to have a, a desire build up within you and then be denied any opportunity for release. I think she knows something about that, Sheldon. <laughs> okay, help me out here. Why does he love this show so much? Oh, there is action. He's funny. Why does it bother you so much? I don't know. Just, 
He's so passionate about so many different things. I just don't get that way. Do you? Well, sure, I'm pretty passionate about science. It was like a whole other universe. If I wanted to, I could wipe it out with my thumb like a god. <laughs> my god. I wish I had some of that fire in my life. I mean, I want to care about things and get excited like you guys. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the problem. Hey, what's up? Uh, Lucy's coming over. I need some advice. However long you think the foreplay should be, triple it. This football jersey. How about neither? Because you're going to look like a bro. We don't want that. Good. Black is more slimming. Hey. Hi. Oh, it's her! Why didn't I connect the dots oh, with that? Look how cute your little doggy is. Yeah, well, I wouldn't get too close. If I give the right command in German, she'll rip your face off. Oh my God! Oh God, she's gonna stop! No, it's don't like do this one. Layout, isn't it? Don't do this one. Yes. Don't don't do this one. This one's gonna hurt me too. Let's box it up. That's enough. Sheldon, give it! <laughs> Make a wish and blow out the candles. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops, missed one. Now your wish can't come true. Oh, my God. I like your jersey. Thanks. I love hockey. Oh, cool. So does my dad. We watched it all the time growing up. Who's your favorite player? <laughs> You're acting all weird, and I'm pretty weird, so I think I know what I'm talking about. I don't know, maybe it's all the steroids I've been taking. Oh my god! I, I found your blog where you wrote about me. Oh, I kind of just write that for myself. I didn't think anybody actually read it. No kidding, you didn't make it easy to find. I spent hours digging around online. For the record, you have excellent credit scores. And your diabetic aunt seems to be adjusting to her new leg just fine. You called me feminine. I, I wanted you to think I was more manly. Raj, I, I didn't say feminine was a bad thing. I meant that you're sweet and thoughtful and your skin looks so much like caramel. I just want to dip an apple in your face. <laughs> Do you even like hockey? No. I bought this at the Staples Center when I went to see Taylor Swift. excited you get about stuff like Buffy or science or which TV remote you and Sheldon should buy. The Harmony one was fine. But then I realized I'm passionate about you. Oh, the cute little tushy strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Look, I've always had these plans. I shouldn't wait. You know, I've got you, I've got Sheldon, these wonderful friends. My life is exciting right now. Okay, where are we going Thank from you. this? So does that mean we get to do stuff like talk about cool shows or get dressed up in matching costumes and go to Comic-Con? <laughs> Leonard, I had an epiphany, not a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> but this has truly been a transformative evening. I'm a little surprised to hear you feeling so Yeah, no, he's gonna finish something when you leave. You're an excellent neuroscientist. <laughs> You're a wonderful girlfriend. And... I'm proud of you, Sheldon. Oh, God. Yep. And a complete sucker. <laughs> See? Here it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and the home of the brick. <laughs> Yes, keep going. Just like that. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, is this the Bruce Miller who wrote the season finale of Alphas? <laughs> yeah, oh, smashing. Yeah, you already sound nicer than the last Bruce Miller who suggested I have sexual relations with myself. Oh my god. Yeah, now, down to business. Um, your show ended on a cliffhanger. Could you please tell me how you plan to resolve it? Yeah, well, that all stinks. No wonder you got canceled. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so that was part seven of season six for The Big Bang Theory. We've only got one more video left, and I'm so excited to jump right into it. Literally, after I'm done recording this one, we're going to do it. Um, but I think that there was a lot to be said about how emotional some of these episodes can be. Oop, I woke the dog up. Big stretch. Big shake. Are you better? <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. I love him. He's my favorite person. Actually, not a person, but favorite individual in the world. Yep. So, <laughs> I think there's something to be said, though, about how emotional some of these episodes can be in this move, in this show. And it's just very heartwarming to see how we change that halfway through the series and how it's going to get better. And it's like you can relate to a lot of things that are going on. A lot of people can. So, if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and it's... Wow. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.